John Rowe, you've signed your first professional contract with Norwich City Football Club. How does that feel to sign that? The feeling is great, honestly. Like, no words can really describe how, how glad I am to be signing a professional contract. Just grateful to all my family, all the coaches, the staff, all the people in my life that have helped me along the way um, on my journey to the top. So, yeah, just overall, overwhelmed, isn't it? And it must be a good feeling to kind of have such faith shown in you by the club. Oh yeah, the, the club from young, as soon as I've, from when I first started here, the club has always been having my back, so I can't really fault them on that. And just got to appreciate all the things they've done for me so far. And you must be looking to repay that faith with the performances out there on the pitch. 100%. I'm, I'm looking forward to what the future holds and what I can do and bring for this, for this, to this club. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited. Kind of. And what's your story behind your time at the club? How long have you been here and you know, how, how have you found it? I've been here for about, I think around seven years now. So it's been quite a while. This is the first club I've come to, so um, all I wanted to do as a young kid was just play football. So as soon as I got the opportunity at Norwich, I was just like, I was more than willing to, to take it. So I came from grassroots football, playing in my, my area, Wembley in London. And yeah, just see what the future holds. And it must be nice to be in a club where youth have shown such an opportunity. Players like Todd Campwell and Adam Eder really must interest you for your development as to what the future can hold. Yeah, that's one thing I like. I really like about this club and my family and friends have really noticed that as well. The pathway and to the to the first team and to like proper professional football, that's really intrigued me. So I'm really glad that I can be at a club where they really believe in the youth and the development of the young scholars in the academy, so. And we've seen you make a few 23s appearances so far this season. What's that been like and kind of how has that been for your development? Um, 23s, as when I first started, it was a challenge physically. Um, it was physically demanding, but as you play more with time and experience, you get used to it and then it becomes more, more challenging in a good way, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm glad to be getting minutes in with the 23s and just, playing a lot of minutes so far this season. I'm just looking to play a lot more. Earlier in the season in the uh, Papa John's Trophy, we saw you make an appearance against MK Dons. What was that like, kind of getting that taste of senior professional football with the 23s? The, the EFL Trophy, that's, a, that's one of the trophies that I really look forward to um, each season. So I feel like coming up against pro teams and League One and whatnot, showing where, it's a good way to compare where you're at. And the goal now, the ultimate goal, must be to reach Daniel Farker's first team squad. Yeah, I really, from what I've heard, I really like the way he um, goes about things. So I'm looking forward to working with him one day, hopefully. So yeah, that's one thing I got in my eyes.